All right guys, John here. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Icon Digital Half Inch Torque Wrench. I know most of you guys have been waiting on this one. I've had it for a while. Um, biggest thing was I wanted to compare it to the Snap-on. Well, I ordered the Snap-on like February 4th um, and just kept getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. Now, of course, we're coming up into March and it's still getting pushed back every so many days, just keeps getting pushed back. So anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this, look at the specs. We'll throw it on the test stand, do a little bit of testing, um, and then go from there. Probably when that snap-on gets here, we'll do some more heavy testing on it, but this will give us a good ballpark on the accuracy. The item number on this is 56683. And of course, like most Icon tools, it is made in Taiwan. So the range is 12.5 to 250 foot pounds. And this torque wrench comes with a 15 degree flex head. Now the ratchet mechanism is 72 tooth and is reversible. Now accuracy in the clockwise position is supposed to be plus or minus 2% with the counterclockwise coming in at plus or minus 3%. So it comes in a nice case here. We go ahead and open it up. What's interesting is the batteries are stored down here in the bottom. Now they are AA Maxwell batteries and there are three of them. Also with this, there is just a set of instructions here and the calibration certificate. Four indicators of when you're at torque spec. Here you can see it on the LCD. You have LEDs, you have audible, and you have vibration. Now you'll notice that this handle is knurled, which is nice. So as we look at the screen here, we have the torque setting, P1, meaning we're in preset one, peak mode, how much battery life is left, and the date and time. So now if we go up, we can go to units. So of course, inch pounds, newton meters, AGM, angle mode, this is where we can then adjust, you know, if we want to torque and then after the torque we need to go, I don't know, 90 degrees, something like that. You know, you can adjust this here with the plus or minus. We'll hit the units again. So right now it's torque and then angle. So it's going to want you to hit this torque. And then whatever angle we set, which of course we set 360, so we'd have to do 360 on the fastener. And then it would be done. We're going to go ahead and hit the units again. Go all the way around, come back to 250 foot-pounds. Then on the side here, we do have that plus or minus to go up or down. Pretty straightforward. Preset here, so we're in preset 1. You can set preset 2 all the way up to preset nine. Now on the other side here, if we hit the M, we go into the menu. We have the mode, of course, if we're in peak or trace. Show memory. So if we click on this, we can see what was done. Again, this was actually done on the tester. So we'll go back out of this. We can clear the memory. It's that backlighting. Now I did come in here, which is the way it comes from factory. You can see it's kind of dull. So I turned it on. Of course you can hit that. Go on up, always on. Definitely looks a lot better to me. Now if we back out of here, we go on down to date and time, pretty simple. Uh, contrast, I also turned that all the way up. So it was set at 20, I turned it up to 40. Information, pretty straightforward there. So over information, I believe this is where you're gonna put uh, new information in to replace the, of course, the information above. Then you have head length. Basically, you know, if you put like, uh, or crow foot on the end or some long extension on the end, it will account for that in here. Cycle counter. 
you can see we already have 27 cycles. This is going to come in handy when we go to do the 1000 cycles. Key beep, I have it on. You can hear it beep every time I hit a key. Calibration required, so you can come in here and you can set this up so that at so many cycles or at such a such date, it it uh, tells you to you know go ahead and test it. So then we have we can shut off or turn on vibration of the handle. Sleep timer, how fast before it shuts off. Language and exit. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use there, guys. Again, I would definitely adjust that backlighting and bring her all the way up. All right, we got it set to 50, and we also have the tester ready to audit. She's saying 50.1. She's saying 49.39. We'll take that reading. She's saying 50.4. She's saying 49.37. So we'll store that. Fifty point six, and then forty nine point six four. So one fifty on the torque wrench. I got a little carried away. It's reading one fifty one point three. Here we're reading one forty eight point eight. One fifty one point two and then one forty eight. There I was pretty much right on the money at one fifty point one, and here we have one forty seven point zero. So now we got to go to two fifty. Two fifty one point one versus two forty seven point four. Two fifty point eight, two forty nine. Two fifty two point six, two fifty one. I mean, within a foot pound. A little better what the lights look like. Start with red, yellow, green, and we're there. So you have it, guys. Definitely a nice little torque wrench here. Um, tons of features built in again it's it is expensive but you have to look at what you're getting you're getting a nice digital readout of peak so you know kind of exactly if you got it right to the exact torque then you have angle mode then you have can easily switch between units i know a lot of you guys are working on tons of different vehicles so sometimes it's in foot pounds sometimes it's in newton meters stuff like that so you don't have to do the conversion you can just click the button and you're good to go. So we're gonna put this against the snap on here well, whenever I get it and see if it uh, stands up against that one, which runs in at about $880. So we will see, but anyhow guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And again, check back. We're gonna put this to the test and go from there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll catch you guys on another one.